Hey there everyone, this is Raokao, playing Anakie Presents, and last time we got here, and it's, it's a place in Guavamom, and told me to watch out, because it is, well, I don't know if you guys remember the original thread, but uh, West Ham Sandwich made quite a performance in what can only be called that Vine Bramble level place. I guess that's not the most catchiest name around, but, well, come on. It's not like Florida has a very catchy name, and it's not, it's very kind of popular, so we'll let it go through stuff. So, apparently, um, this little world here, according to Oyster, it's called the Air Garden, which is, uh, probably the digivolution of, whoa, Poison Mushroom Olive Garden, because if there's Poison Mushroom, it's all, no, I am not making any libel against Olive Garden. I, I don't even know what it is, it's only something... A name I have heard once. Okay, so jumping from up here, not a good idea. Uh, this is getting rather rowdy and rumbunctious, if I do. Thank you for this little flashing power. It's like wearing glasses. Suddenly people don't hurt you anymore un unless y you take them off. But uh, So, Ouija probably shouldn't have taken off his little shine power transference. Why do I keep dying like that? I'm not playing very good at all. I don't remember this being that hard. I mean, freaking conveyor belt. Why is a conveyor belt, like, in the vine place land? I mean, the lava bubbles and the little ninja kittens there, that I can understand. I mean, this is probably a very tourist attraction-y place. And where you say tourist attraction-y place, y you say weird things, like... Hello, and, um, he no, seriously, hello, what is up with that? What is the significance of hello? Why do we, like, feel obligated to say this one simple two-syllable word when we meet someone? And it's like, it's the same freaking word if it's someone you know or not. It's just hello, and, it, like, every language has has the these uh, words type of things. Okay, this is... Could be going better, I, I guess. There we go! Simple pie. I keep dying to freaking bramble. Freaking bramble, always against a man and fashion in general. I mean, come on. Have you ever seen bramble dressed decently? I think not. If you say otherwise, you're quite obvious, obviously, someone who lies a lot as a hobby. Although I don't mind hobbyists usually, usually they're just little quirks that are fun to make fun of. Well, sometimes it just goes too far. So yeah, in, in conclusion, I'm having somewhat some sort of trouble like substance abuse here. But uh, fortunately, we have yet to be attacked by any panthers, so, so we really should be counting our blessings. And yeah, good to, let's say it's a good thing I'm small, because I'm not too sure how you would even be able to do this as big. Oh, the secret is to, is to do stuff. <laughs> That's surprising. Okay, come on, this could be going better. See, this could have been gone like that since the very beginning, so for some reason it's not. Problem here is momentum. Momentum and spinies at our gray shell for some reason come out of free. No, not a balloon part. Balloon parts are never fun. Balloon parts never fun for one good reason. You get hit by anything and you lose your balloony powers and so you're pretty much dead. It's like, hello, I'm making you a larger target than usual and also getting a hit has more of an impact than usual. I mean, it's like a double dose of dangerous uh, solutions, you know? It's like if you were mixing carbon monoxide and carbon elephants. It, it, it would not do something that would be qualifiable as a happy salad. Can I make it? I almost made it here. But I totally did and I would need to be big to be able to make it. And so instead I jump and hop. I guess I'm screwed. Maybe, maybe not. Um, seriously now? How screwed am I? This is a mighty good question. Yeah, freaking bramble, man. Okay, let's rewind a bit. Let's rewind a bit. 
Okay. Okay, so. So, all these are not conducive to balloons. Well, that one is. Freaking god hell, man. If only I had mind to actually check my surroundings instead of just assume that everything is merely a lemure that is trying to trick me out of pocket money. The, my life would be so much simpler then. Yet I must insist in mowing the lawn of faith. Conti oh, come on! Now that was not fair in the slightest. Fairness was not an element of that particular fiend, by which I mean a purple mushroom that had a skull drawn on its forehead. Hey, guess what, guys? It's the very first one-stage video, because, well, I remember that stage being a lot easier than that, but I guess you can't always trust your memory. This is Al Cow, and join me next time when I do the castle place here, and I need to sneeze, so, uh, yeah.